he convinced me that a creature lived under the outhouse. So yeah, I, uh, I grew up on a farm in Cape Breton and for the first 11 years of my life, we had no indoor toilet. We used an outhouse. <laughs> and it's funny, people, people say to me, I, I joke with people all the time, I'm like, you know, don't let the tattoos and the earrings fool you, I'm a farm kid. Um, I also say, <laughs> don't, don't judge a book by its cover because people look at me and they think city and they think, you know, uh, I probably a lot of things, you know, the shaved head and the tattoos and you know, all that stuff. Um, but in reality, uh, I grew up 11 years, first 11 years of my life, rural Cape Breton with an outhouse. No kidding. Um, it was interesting, I guess. That's probably the best way to put it. Uh, I mean, I, I hated it. But you, you're also kind of used to it because that's just the way things were. Like when I was younger, you know, when I was six, seven years old, you didn't really think twice about it. Um, you just, you just didn't. Like you, you had an outhouse, you used the outhouse. Uh, in the wintertime, it was cold. Uh, you know, you're out there and it's cold. Like there's no heat in there. And at night, you have to go out with a flashlight because there's no lights in there. <laughs> I, uh, the two things I hated the most um, was cold like that when you're in there and you can see your breath and it's freezing and you're, you're using the bathroom. That's not fun. Uh, and, and nighttime, I hated the nighttime, uh, because you know, you worry about monsters when you're little, <laughs> you, you worry about monsters. And, uh, I, I worried about monsters. I didn't, I didn't like being out there in the dark and the spiders because obviously it's a, it's an outhouse. There's spiders in the outhouse. You see the spiders like crawling around by the window and stuff. Uh, I didn't like any part of that. Um, and it, it is funny because when I tell people that story, they always seem a little amused. Like, you what? Uh, I told my friend Wayne Crawley one time uh, that I had grown up with an outhouse the first 11 years of my life, and I just mentioned it in passing. And he went, you grew up with an outhouse? And I was like, yeah, yeah, I grew up with an outhouse. And it... <laughs> It always it always strikes people as strange because they look at you and they're like, you're, you're a business owner. Uh, I've done okay, you know. I mean, weathered a pandemic. I have staff, you know, all those things. Um, but for 11 years, I've owned a gym. I've owned a business for 11 years. And really, in reality, being successful in business is just making it through. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like 90 plus percent of businesses are gone in the first two years. First five years, most of them are gone. Uh, so to be around 11 years later is pretty good. Uh, and then to have come from where I came from is, uh, is I guess, you know, interesting. Uh, what is funny is that, you know, my mom and dad, they grew up in, you know, middle class U.S. My mom's from New Jersey. My dad's from Chicago. Uh, I was born in Chicago. They chose to live, you know, on a farm. They wanted to live on a farm, and they they chose to live in Cape Breton. Um, they chose, you know, East Coast. They wanted a farm, and they didn't care. You know, to them it was part of the process, and it's kind of cool. They, you know, we didn't have a toilet. Um, but the things that probably probably the worst part about having the the outhouse was uh, my brother, who's five years old. Thane is five years older than I am, and he is a consistent joker like Thane from the time he was little he just likes to mess with people specifically me because <laughs> I was there to, and I was an easy target you know five years younger so he he convinced me that a creature lived under the outhouse I don't know why I believe this but in, in the because an outhouse let's so everybody understands what you do with an outhouse is you dig a big hole in the ground you slide the outhouse over it and I don't mean like a you know, a six foot hole, like they, they dig it with a backhoe, right? You got a big hole in the ground and then you use the bathroom into the hole until the hole's full. And then you fill in the top of the hole and you move the outhouse and dig another hole. That's basically how it works. Um, and I, he convinced me there was a creature, a person that lived underneath the outhouse. <laughs> and I was, I was scared of that because I was probably six or five. So I thought, there's something in there and, and to make it a little bit more 
realistic, shall we say. Uh, Thane found some tractor oil. My dad had tractor oil. Uh, he had this bin of oil, and I remember, you know, Thane, it wasn't like a bin. I mean, it was, I, I remember being big, but it probably wasn't that big. He used to drop brick rocks and stuff into it because, you know, it was black, and he'd, whoop, he'd be gone. Right? We always thought that was kind of neat. Who knows what the hell my dad thought if he ever emptied the darn thing out, which I don't know if he ever did. I'm not sure. Uh, but, you know, my brother went and dipped both his hands in the oil, and then, I guess he'd lifted up the seat first in the outhouse. The outhouse was close by, and put two handprints, like just two of them, on the uh, on the bottom of the seat, and then shut it, <laughs> and then told me that there was a, a, a creature that lived underneath. Uh, so the next time I went in the outhouse, uh, and I opened it up, <laughs> there's the handprints, uh, which was horrifying. I was, and he just said, you know, if you, if you take too long, it, it, he'll come get you. He's going to grab you. <laughs> and it, it, it's hard when you, when you're in a rush <laughs> to finish because you're so afraid. <laughs> that's, that's, it's interesting because you're, you're so freaked out that you know, he's coming to get you. And I, <laughs> I was certain it was real. I mean, I was certain it was real. Uh, and knowing it was coming to get me this whole time if I, if I didn't hurry up. Oh, the stress. <laughs> the stress of that. And that's just the tip of the iceberg with my brother. That's that's the, his style of thing to do. Um, but we had that outhouse from the time I was a, a kid until I was 11 years old. And uh, I think my grandmother might have been, she might have been coming to visit. And my dad decided he was putting a toilet in. Uh, so... You know, we didn't, there wasn't really exactly a bathroom area in the house. It hadn't been built for that, right? Because it was built for having an outhouse. The house is old. I mean, we're talking 180 whatever years old, right? It's an old house, um, super old farmhouse. So there's an, uh, an area that's kind of like a room, but not really a room. There's a sink in it. It's a bathroom, but there's no toilet, obviously. It's a bathtub, and it was my parents put in. I, who knows, had, had there been a bathtub later. Uh, beforehand rather um and there was you know a sink so my dad you know put a toilet in um but what was interesting is there's no there was it wasn't really a room it was sort of at the end of a hallway and rather than building a door my parents just hung a, a sheet and i kid you not just a sheet so when you're in the bathroom you pull the sheet and I can tell you, there's not a lot of privacy when you're using the bathroom or when you're having a shower bath, when you didn't have a shower, but when you're having a bath or whatever, when you have a sheet. And, and that's what we had. And I grew up with that, you know, right until I was, until I was 21 and I moved out, right? You know, university and all that. That's what I grew up with. So people, it's funny, people say all the time they can't get over the, the outhouse part. <laughs> They're like, well, you grew up in an outhouse, what the hell? I, I often say to them, well, you know what, the, the sheet... The fact that the bathroom didn't have a door, that actually was in some ways worse somehow. Because, you know, in an outhouse, at least you have a little bit of privacy. I mean, yes, you're in an outhouse and all those things, but you have a little, you're in there with the spiders, right? You have a little bit of privacy when you have a bathroom without a door and just a sheet over it and not a heavy sheet, just a sheet. Um, that's, that's less. That's actually less privacy and you're in the house. I don't know. Honestly, I would say, and it's funny to say it, but I would say that's worse. <laughs> Honest to God, would say that's probably worse than the outhouse.